First of all, uh, hello to all of you. My name is Barney Dharan. I am the corporate executive chef and I work for Custom Culinary. And I'm based out of India and I support activities in Middle East, India and Southeast Asia. And the Custom Culinary supports the VAX initiative globally for Train the Trainer and the Hans Pushkin Junior Young Chefs activities. So we take a lot of pride to be part of WAX as partners to help the cause and to educate and to groom the young chefs of today. I think the Indian cuisine is misconceived worldwide. Everybody thinks Indian cuisine means curry and nothing exists as a curry curry. Yeah. It is a British Raj term given by the Britishers to Indian food whilst they couldn't comprehend what a true curry is. For example, the Mulagatwani is the national soup of India, but nobody makes or drinks or ever has heard of Mulagatwani in India. So it's the international perception that anything from India is a curry. Whilst the Indian cuisine is as ancient, as versatile and as regionally diverse, as any other cuisine around the world. So the world needs to understand the true authentic intricacies of Indian cuisine, the history, the various regions, the culture, the ingredients which actually grow in various parts of the country, and how each regional cuisine is cooked in its most authentic form, which is in complex in its own way, but spells true authenticity. So that's one of the reasons why we want to tell the world and train the young chefs today what true Indian, authentic Indian cuisine means. It's like any cuisine. As you know, Indian cuisine is getting popular day by day. There are many Michelin star restaurants around the world which serve very fine Indian food. What is special about Indian food is as you would refer to any Asian cuisine. Every Asian cuisine is so very unique due to the diverse ingredients, the very special cooking techniques, the versatility of the ingredients, the flavors, the range in the menu. You can start from kebabs to curries to breads to biryanis to pilafs to a huge array of Indian desserts. And every region has its own repertoire of dishes. And that's what makes Indian cuisine so very special. I did share it while I had the workshop and uh, one of the main thoughts that I share with the young chefs of today is be passionate and be committed, travel the world, experience different cuisines, different cultures, understand the various historical backgrounds and influences of a particular country, the ingredients, the cooking techniques and at least learn 8 to 10 most popular dishes from that country in the most authentic way possible. A, it helps you understand the cuisine of that particular country and most importantly what it teaches you is how you can enhance your culinary technique and a culinary approach in the long run and how you can use it in your own cuisine creations, innovations and nuances. I was very impressed and uh, today Chef uh, Jacques and Kern walked me around and and, and I believe it's, it's a very young institute. Uh, I see the entire layout and the plan so very vibrant, versatile, informal, at the same time very structured and focused. Uh, there's a huge diverse uh, curriculum and uh, students here, if they are focused and truly benefit, they have a great future. And me being an educator myself, I used to teach at the hotel school for around four years uh, for postgraduate chefs. I do see the, the entire content and, and, and the infrastructure of this place and the curriculum very interesting. True compliments. Thank you so much, Chef. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure having been here. Thanks for the opportunity and hope to see you all sometime in the near future. Thank you.